This is a uh, reply to autistic rule question about having a rider despawn when the horse is killed. So in this example, it's fairly easy. We can just uh, kill the horse here and poof, he despawns. But he's set to respawn, so he's back again. But um, you can, it would be the same if I just deleted him also. He will disappear. There he goes. <laughs> okay, that guy's gone for good now. Now the tricky part is to have them spawn together, as you just saw this guy did. This guy's, these two spawn together. And uh, you can make quite an army here. Uh, I've got it actually saved in Soulstone. You don't want to have them too close together or else it messes up. But you can make make a mounted army really quick here. And uh, they respond to uh, Path or Tool also. Uh, let's see. Just make a, there we go. Okay. And let's get rid of some of these guys here. And I'll show you how that's done. Um, Oh, he needs to be set to moving path, I guess. Yes, that's a problem. Done. There we go. Okay, now the script basically says on the rider that if... Uh, first he waits for a mount, um, and then once he has one, this is set to one, and then the next time it checks, if he doesn't have a mount, he will despawn. So first it will wait till he gets one. He's riding a horse. And then, so he has to ride a horse before he can despawn. So if I would just, um, I've got him saved here in the cloner. If I would just go over here and spawn rider. He'll, he'll be fine until... Well, he's starting to attack my other guys here. We better get rid of him. But he won't despawn until he's riding a horse. And then not riding a horse. So, um, that's how that works. Now, the horse is a little bit more complicated. And sometimes the horse barks, but that's a whole other story. Um, but, uh... Let's see. The horse, there was a problem with the horse, uh, the rider falling off the horse on reload, but that doesn't seem to happen anymore. But that's why I have this bug fix here. Uh, but it still works perfectly fine anyway. Um, this goes in the update tab, this goes in the init tab, initialization tab. Uh, so when the horse is initial, uh, spawned, initialized, uh, he, will, he will spawn the rider. And uh, when he spawns it, then the update tab will check for the rider, and it will set the rider as a rider in the set rider command. <laughs> and then um, that's what that does. So, uh, where are we here? So you can actually delete the rider and then if you initialize the horse just once like that he will he will search for a rider here and he will pick him up like that so that's kind of neat i haven't really worked on that but you could have a uh, you have the horse go back to some place and get a new rider <laughs> something like that so that's one one potential. Now then, how you get them in the Soul Stone or the Cloner is a little tricky. Uh, what you have to do, once again, is take the rider off. And because the horse knows that he needs a rider. So that's not the problem. So you have to just initialize the horse and then you can 
click on that and that will put him in the soul stone and he will initialize and he will have a rider there if you didn't click on him with the wand once he wouldn't reset and he would think there would be somebody already on him so um, you could uh, do the same thing if you wanted to change his skin also so what you would do is uh, click on him like that delete delete the rider um, and then click on the horse uh, select and I got a nice horse texture here it's under horse it's my only horse texture back back done there you go and then you want to save him in the soul stone just like that boom and he should spawn with the new rider or come on there you go okay good so you can have a bunch of those guys here and so if you want to change the texture or any other other things you have to go through that procedure and save him and it would be the same with the cloner you can save him whoops and the cloner um, there he is right there horse mount spawn and that's how that works so it's it seems to work pretty good there's there's different things you could do to it um, the horse is neutral, the rider's uh, hostile or aggressive, so um, it's kind of neat. They're not a very good shot because I, I kept getting shot up <laughs> testing these guys, but um, it's, it's pretty neat. And also over here, uh, actually the rider uh, script works the same See, they're not sneaking up on me here, but the rider script works the same on a uh, on a tame horse with a saddle. You can put an NPC on there, and it will work the same. Um, if this this guy, I don't think has this script in him. I don't want to kill my tame horse, really. But um, no, that's somebody else completely. Um, so, but it would work the same. Um, if you had a tame horse and it died and you had one of these riders over here on it he would despawn also so that's uh, that's all there is the script is a little complex but I haven't found any bugs in it it's short but it's kind of tricky so it was it seems to work pretty good um, it seems like you could make a pretty good army here especially if you improve their aim a little bit maybe <laughs> um, so and also yes here you can actually put them in a in a you can put the uh, in, a, in a dispenser you can put the soul stone in a dispenser um, and there you go yeah, they're all gonna kill me now so that's it I better I better run for the hills here so Thanks for watching.